Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be designing underground animal hideouts. For this project, you're gonna want a pencil, an ultra fine Sharpie, and something to color in your picture. You're also gonna need an extra large piece of paper. Before getting started, I wanted to look at several drawings. Here is one of my favorites. So notice uh, the irregular shape of the tunnels and the different rooms in this rabbit habitat. Also, it's not realistic. The rabbit actually has accessories and beds and furniture and stuff like that. Uh, also notice the style of the tree, the way the roots start above ground and then how you can see them underground. And and this is done in the style of a cross section. Also notice how the inside walls are a lighter color than the dirt around it. Here's another underground scene. We've got a badger and some meerkats. I love the variety of critters in this image. This image is super cool because you have a vole actually swimming up into its burrow. Even though this image doesn't have any animals underground, I love how ornate it is. I want to encourage you to try drawing uh, rabbits and other critters in several different styles and poses. This picture here features rabbits with different types of accessories, which is kind of fun. Here's another great image of rabbits in a variety of poses and positions. As you can see, I've already penciled in most of my drawing, but I'm gonna take you through it step by step. So the first thing you'll wanna do is design your land area. So in my case, I have the land going like this, and then there's some water. So I'm gonna do that first. I'm designing my grass with really squiggly lines. Now I'm going to draw several different tunnel systems into my picture. Now that I've finished adding my tunnel systems, I'm gonna go back and add roots and rocks. Notice how I'm having the root systems go behind the tunnels that I've already drawn. Now it's time to add some rocks. You can add some fun details above ground. I'm gonna add some mushrooms here and some purple foxglove. Now we're ready to start adding animals. I'm gonna start with a little bunny peeking her head above ground. I'm gonna add several different types of bunnies to my bunny burrow habitat. A laughing bunny on her back down here and a couple of picture frames up top. I'm gonna to do another bunny sitting down with a carrot did you know that several types of owls live underground? Now I'm gonna add a fox down at the bottom with bushy hair. I'm gonna add a couple water voles down here. I'm gonna add a mama and baby swan in my water. Once you're done drawing your picture, go back and outline everything with an ultrafine Sharpie. And when you're all done doing that, you're going to go back and erase all of your pencil marks. I'm gonna be coloring in my tree roots really dark in contrast to my soil. I'm gonna color in my rocks with a silver crayon. I wanna use crayon instead of colored pencil because I want it to resist the watercolor that I paint 
over it. I'm getting ready to paint in the rest of the dirt with a brown watercolor. So I'm taking my color out of the, um, and, and putting it into the lid of the watercolor tray so that I can water it down. If I take it directly from here, it's gonna to be too dark. So that's why I'm doing that. And I'm gonna mix a little bit of orange into it as well. Make sure you like the color by testing it on another piece of paper first. I'm going to add this light wash into my background. I've made some light blue here that I'm going to use for my water. As you can see, I did some crayon um, highlights, ripples in the water with white and blue crayons. Might fade down into a slightly darker blue here at the bottom. I thought it would be fun to do an orange and yellow sunset. I'm going to start with just a little bit of red at the bottom. And then I'm going to blend into orange. Now I've, I've covered my swan in uh, white crayon to help prevent um, getting watercolor on it. And I thought I'd add a little bit of blue at the top. I thought my picture was looking a little empty in the middle, so I went ahead and added another bunny there. And here's my finished picture.